really taking off with the crazy concoctions, everything from glitter beer, mm -hmm. matcha beer, and now we have <laughs> dairy beer. Well, this is cool. This is cool, and they're going to explain it. Two classic Colorado companies, Nusi Yogurt, exploring their very own unique blend with one of our favorites, New Belgium Brewery. They've created a, a beery play on a mixed berry, yogurt, <laughs> brusa, berry, tart. A whole lot going it on there. It sounds complicated. <laughs> it sounds very complicated. But there's complicated. a lot of shared things between brewing and yogurt making, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cultures? Yes. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> we in New Belgium, we really use a lot of lactobacillus cultures anyway. Okay. So when we started talking with Nusa, it became very natural that we wanted to make a beer utilizing their micro uh, and kind of mash it up with ours. And it's, it's, so what is this supposed to taste like? What exactly did you guys do to it? So really what we started with is a milk stout. Uh, we then acidified it with Noosa's lactobacillus culture to turn it into a yogurt stout. <laughs> And then we added some uh, blueberry, blackberry, and raspberry. All of a sudden, to turn it into a mixed berry <laughs> yogurt stout. <laughs> so it's kind of in a uh, undefined good, category though. of beer. But Absolutely. first of all, tasting it, I can definitely taste the uh, like the lacto, right? Like a sour beer mm -hmm. a little bit. But it's really evened out by the, all the the fruits and stuff. In Absolutely. There. And I'm going to join you because yeah, I'm go, cheers, I'm cheers to that. Yeah. 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 I'm surprised you didn't cheers. lead the uh, lead the pack. Yeah, they, always a good excuse, you know. Well, you yeah. would you say? Everybody. I mean, maybe people don't realize this, but not only is there science behind beer, but there's science behind yogurt. I mean, in that oh, yeah. sense, Absolutely. it makes sense for you guys to work together. Absolutely. And I mean, we love to collaborate with fun brands. And, yeah. you know, New Belgium and Noosa are like basically neighbors. So <laughs> why not? Why yeah, not? Absolutely. Well, and we also, we have a lot of shared uh, staff that go through the Colorado State Fermentation yeah. oh, Sciences right. Program. Wow. So yeah. There's a lot of deep connections there up there in Port Very Colorado. cool. Yeah. Well, it's good. Yeah. It does taste like a sour beer to a, a little, little bit. bit. Yeah. 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 But there's the yogurt it in there, too. It has a weird ending, like yeah. yeah. after, yeah. An aftertaste. Yeah. 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 I was trying to figure yeah. out what that was. It tastes yeah. like yogurt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. It's crazy. I didn't have any idea that it would taste like this. Where can people buy this? Yeah. So you can get it in our Fort Collins tap room, and then we are going to have it uh, in select locations around the Front Range. Awesome. So you can cool. visit newbelgium.com and check out our beer finder, or you can download our app, uh, Beer Mode, and you can have it there as well. Oh, I'm going to enter Beer Mode after the show. <laughs> Guys, enjoy the rainfall and watch out for the snow over on the west side of town. We'll be back at 11. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.